Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to the video this morning and today. I'm glad to have you with me. Um, thank you very much for joining me and it's great because the, one of the few things I like about the internet is that it can reach uh, people all over the world, no matter where you are. doesn't matter what language you speak or what part of the world you live in. Um, if you've got the internet these days, you can, you can watch anything and hopefully um, learn some things as well. And one of the things I hope my videos do in general is to help people in the hobby in terms of model railways. So today, um, wherever you're watching from, by the way, let me know in the comments box below where you're watching. If you're in the UK or overseas or anywhere, just drop me a message say, hey, watching from whatever country or region. Anyway, <laughs> great to have you with me. Um, this is a very simple tunnel idea um, that you guys can do at home uh, on your layout. Um, whether you've got a permanent layout or you've got a portable layout like mine, which is a six by four, um, it's a great little project idea and it's very simple to do. And sometimes um, when building a model railway for yourself or for the kids, um, or even as a young person, if you're building your first model railway and you're not sure how to do a tunnel, um, one of the simplest materials you can use as you can see before your very eyes, is good old polystyrene, or in the States, um, it's called styrofoam, I think you refer it to. Anyway, polystyrene, loads of it. It always comes with um, things like televisions these days and um, furniture and bits and pieces. Um, and it comes in quite handy pre-cut sections, um, which makes it great. You can, um, I use basically um, a kitchen carving knife. And again, if you're gonna use a kitchen knife, for the younger people out there, please be very, very, very careful with knives. Ask mum or dad or a grown-up to get permission to do it or ask them to cut it for you. Uh, and if you are a grown-up uh, and you live with your missus, uh, especially ask her permission as well. <laughs> Don't ruin the carving knife. Anyway, just use a... It doesn't have to be a sharp knife, by the way. As long as it's got a reasonably good edge, you can use it. Um, you can use a steel rule. Uh, lots of things, but a, a carving knife, kitchen knife uh, um, works quite well, bread knife, something like that. Anyway, you can basically snap the pieces by hand, as what I've done here or on my design so far. I've just roughly broke them into pieces and PVA glued them to the baseboard uh, and then obviously um, stuck random lumps on top of each other with some scrap paper and also some packing material. This isn't the finished item. This is just the assembly stage. I'll talk more about that in a minute. So obviously the reason I wanted the tunnel is because I don't care what gauge you model, it's double O, O gauge, uh, TT these days is, is getting back in pot in fashion, um, N gauge, whatever the layout you've got, whatever size, it's always fun to watch a train just pop in and out of a tunnel, whether it's a massive long tunnel or a short little tunnel like mine. Um, if you look at my previous layout, Bentley Park, uh, which was about 10 foot size um, layout, um, there was quite a long tunnel that measured from curve to curve, baseball to baseboard edge, um, which was a very long tunnel. Now this one's a shortened version and I've recycled the actual tunnel mouth from that original tunnel. But because these are Hornby scaled out resin cast tunnels, um, if you look at this, um, what I've had to do is literally taking, taking a rotary tool just cut them down the middle into two um, chunks and then basically bridge the gap uh, with some scenic material. Uh, in this case, it's wheels, um, brick wall sheets. And I'm just basically letting that dry with some PVA there. I put the lolly stick on top to help it dry, but also I've glued the lolly stick in place to give additional top support and to fill in that little bit of a gap. So once it all dries, it will give the scenery something to um, adhere to. Um, it looks very rough at the moment. There's quite a few gaps, as you can see, which won't matter once the whole thing is covered uh, in a special kind of material I'm going to show you very soon in a few moments. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see from this shot, if we look down at track level, um, that's not too bad, is it? Um, the inside I'm going to paint uh, a dark, dirty black colour. Um, or I might get some black card and just glue there, but it's probably easy to actually hand paint it because um, as you can see the tunnel, I can reach my hand right the way through if I want. It's not a long tunnel, so I, I haven't got a struggle with that idea. Uh, for track cleaning, derailments, it's all accessible. And if we come around the other side of it, um, I've done the same that, that end basically, just put a little bridging piece over the top 
And once that dries, we're going to weather that and it will be hidden with uh, vegetation and scenery. Um, the whole idea is when you're building a tunnel is to give the impression that the tunnel mouths are holding back the hillside and the cutting and all the, the rock face behind it. If you can get that basic look, um, you're halfway there. Um, like I said, the, these tunnel mouths had to be adjusted because of the design of the track and the curvature. Um, the other thing I probably am going to do, like I said, is just slightly weather the front again a little bit, not too much. What I've done for the top of the material there, I've just put some scrunched up um, packing material, a little bit of paper, the invoice from my uh, recent order. <laughs> it gets buried in history. But this is the stuff that we're going to put on top much later on when this is a little bit drier. Um, we're going to use this stuff. Um, uh, again, as you can see, £11.75 um, cost, but then additional free postage, which was pretty good. So just £11.75 was pretty decent. Um, this is a Woodland Scenic brand product. Uh, can't rate the, their, their stuff uh, enough. It's brilliant. Um, this is very, very good. Um, and what it is, you can use it, as it says on the, on the, on the package in there, you can use it for model scenery, uh, school projects, and also for uh, arts and crafts and stuff like that. Obviously, we're going to use it for the top one, model railway scenery. Um, the idea is that you, it comes in the stuff, the same format as when you go to the hospital and you break a limb. Um, they put like a bandage around your limb and it, it's coated in a heavy duty plaster. Uh, it's impregnated with plaster material. So when they actually apply it, it turns to a, like a very hard shell. Obviously, protects your limb while it's healing. This is very similar, not the same as, but it, it has very, very, very durable strength once it's cured. You only need a couple of layers, but you can build it up as much as you want. And the idea is you cut it to size and then you get look like a little container uh, with some warm water. I use warm water, can use cold water. You cut it to size, you dunk it in, give it a little shake and you just lay it over the scenery and you mold it with your hands or with a with with paintbrush. Uh, I prefer to use my hands and then just once it's dry it dries in, in seconds so within a few minutes it's rock hard and you just keep building layers up and layers up and layers up and then once that's all dry uh, we're going to paint it and add scenery um, probably going to I'm going to use that grey um, paint the motion paint that I use for the roads and the platform because it also it doubles as a nice granite rock colour um, I think as well so that will work perfect on there uh, and then we'll add some scenic grass material and bits and pieces. It, it will look half decent when I finish. You know me. You've seen my videos. Um, they don't look half bad, some of my scenery, as I'll say it myself. Anyway, um, that's pretty much the tunnel. So I'm just waiting for bits and pieces to dry. And then when I come back um, on the next video, this one, we'll, we'll see the tunnel um, pretty much finished, almost. And you can have a look at it. But yeah, it's a good design because it's on the curve there. And as you can see... It's just on the edge of that baseboard. Um, so the way it sits when in, in storage, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get damaged. Uh, there's no risk of it being broken. It's lightweight, it's polystyrene. Um, again, polystyrene is the way to go when you're building your scenery because it's lightweight. Um, a lot of people in the old days, when I first started out in the hobby, um, when I was much younger, um, I used to use chicken wire uh, molded around timber and paper mache uh, that was um, a little bit time consuming and it worked out quite heavy in terms of once it was all finished it was you know reasonably heavy on the baseboard and again it took a lot of time to, and it's a bit a little bit fiddly um, but for the easiest method that I would suggest to, to anybody of any age watching this video if you want to make a tunnel like this or similar or longer or you want to make hillsides or anything you want scenery wise that's sort of three-dimensional Go for polystyrene um, or foam sheets. Um, you can get cork sheets. You can get that sort of thing from model shops or suppliers. But again, it's cheaper to get recycled foam, uh, polystyrene, from when you buy something off, off the shop on the internet or you buy something from a shop that has polystyrene or you, you see some nice clean polystyrene that's been uh, generously left somewhere. If it's all right in good condition, why not? Recycle it. Use it. Um, so there we go. So that's my little quick video today to you guys out there. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know where you're watching from. If it's in the UK or overseas, 
Um, I really do like your support. So don't forget to hit the great thumbs up and subscribe button and the like button and all that good stuff. And I will see you again soon in the next one. Take care. God bless and uh, all the best. Bye bye.